Good morning, everybody. Good morning. Let's get this day started. Oh, I cannot wait. I made um, meatloaf uh, last night or yesterday for dinner, so I cannot wait to have a meatloaf sandwich. I usually like to have it like lettuce, tomato, you know, mayonnaise. It just tastes so good. And every time I make something, you know, that goes into the oven like that, I always make sure I clean it right away because after, you know, everything sits in here. And next time I have to either put foil or parchment paper, which I use, I did the last time, but I forgot to do it this time. Excuse guys, you guys are like, oh, crap, I did everything. All right, there. Okay, so still have to cook today because um, there's not a lot of meat left already. So this is how, and this is what I mean when I tell you to really compact the meat, like really grind it with your knuckles and everything because it keeps the meat together. Look, barely no holes, no holes. And what I like about this is that when you put like onions, green peppers, or even, um, what do you call it? What are they called? Olives, they shrink. And when they shrink, you start having all these terrible holes. And I like my meat to be compact. And the more spices, cheese, breadcrumbs, you know, eggs and milk you put in there, the tighter it gets. Look at that, look at that, awesome. Okay, that came out. That came out. This came out really good. So, we, oh, you know what? Let me get my coffee. Come on, pour it. It's uh, I'm starting running away with my mouth. And, I won't get anything done. <laughs> okay, so, I just have a few, few dishes. Garbage men are already out, so I already I already hear them, so <coughs> they're out of They didn't come to pick up the cardboard yesterday, so that probably won't be until next week. Today is Friday. It's going out weekend day. I hope everybody has a nice 
Usually visiting family is usually for the holidays unless, you know. Well, anyway, family, we usually get together on holidays. Well, we used to anyway. Now that things are all grown up, everybody tends to do their own thing. But when my mother was here, we used to go visit all the time. And plus, she used to be close by. And but then today ended up moving to... Um, Everybody actually moved all out to Indiana. Left me, left me behind. I was like, really? So y'all could just leave me? You know? Okay. Go ahead. Yeah, so everybody, I don't have no family out here. The only one that, no, I don't. They're all in Indiana or in, um, Kentucky and um, where else? And Calumet City. Okay, okay, fine. Well, what happened was that my um. My sister moved out there first, and then they all kind of like follow suit. And I guess because all the, the rent and everything were um, cheaper, mm -hmm. so mm -hmm. there's that reason. Get them up. They know. They already know. They all have to start sleeping early starting on Sunday. I mean, you really don't have to. I mean, it's like if you get up right away, you know, like if you get up and you try to go to sleep early, it's like you can't really get up in the morning. But unless, unless you, like, really, really have to. So, okay, top of the morning to you guys. Mm. All right, so, unfortunately, I'm right now feeling this, so, um, I was talking to you guys about the um, the denture repair kit, and I did order it, and I did everything they told me to do, and it already split. I'm like, are you kidding me? The um, the what do you call the 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 crazy glue worked better than the denture repair kit. I'm like. It just, no, just split. And I was like, oh my God. And I'm like, wow, wow. 
I'm going back to the grade school until I make an appointment and, and get them fixed. Cause it was funny because what happened was that when I was doing it last night, I mean, I'll, I'll still use it, you know, but um, cause the, the cream holds the sides down, so I'm not worried about that. But I was, I'm, I'm in it right now. I'm like, at least with the crazy glue, it kept together until almost like two, one o'clock in the afternoon. This thing just split right now. I don't know if it was the cream or what. It did say not to use something with a certain kind of cream. Maybe that was it. I don't know. But um, anyway, I'm just going to use both on and off. We'll see. Um, cause it takes a long time. It takes like almost like um, ten minutes to five minutes to hold it together, another four minutes, and then you have to leave it in almost like twenty minutes, and then you have to leave the the dentures in hot water for another ten minutes. And I don't know what the water was for, so I don't know. I'll show you how it looks like later. Um, yeah, so, um, plus I have to run to the store and get some more denture cream anyway. But, you know, like, like I said, I can still talk, I can still eat, but definitely, definitely going to make some phone calls. I was going to make phone calls yesterday, but they just ran away from me. Um, so, um, today is Faith Night Friday, so I'll probably be fixing my teeth again before I film, um, I don't know how that's gonna work, to tell you the truth. So we will see. Oh, I was kind of upset this morning when I saw them this morning because they didn't look right. So I was like, oh man, I don't know how long it's gonna take before they come apart. So I have to line them up again, and that's gonna take a while. I guess I don't have to wait anymore. Like, <laughs> I'm gonna do it right now. I'm like, what the heck? Anyway, that's the struggle, guys. That is the struggle real life struggles um anyway like I say I do have to run to the store anyhow um what else was I going to get at the store I had to get something no that was at all these I don't know you know tissue paper th tissue paper things like that so anyway um gonna get this day started and um yeah really upset right now really upset <laughs> can't believe this anyway i don't know if i said or not top of the morning to you guys oh what was i talking about getting up early right so i mean sometimes when you feel like you have to get up in the morning your best bet even though you sleep late your best bet is just, just get up, just get up. And then after you get up a few times, you know, early in the morning, you'll start going to sleep early at night. And then that routine, that habit will develop. Otherwise, you, you're going to say, oh, you know, I'm going to sleep early, I'm going to sleep early. And you can't because you're already accustomed to sleeping late. So what you need to do is just get up early in the morning. Go to sleep whenever you want, you know, 10, 1 o'clock, whatever. But get up in the morning. Once you get up in the morning and your inside clock will start noticing that, oh, you're getting up early. So it's going to make you sleepy at night. And then you'll start getting up in the morning. Yeah, isn't it crazy how we do have an inside clock in us, you know? You know, it will get us up, so that helps. So that's good to know that our bodies will let us know when we need to do things. Anyway, I'm going to stop here because I have a lot of things to do today. And I've um, got to take out the dog, have to go to the store and do all that stuff. And I am going to be doing my plastic canvas for tomorrow for my Saturday Night Threads. And I'll be doing a fake night Friday tonight if you want to join me and or tune in for that. And uh, yeah, let's see where, how this day goes today. Oh, okay. I thought this was really going to help. Anyway. Anyway, it is what it is. Yeah.
like the, other, the only thing I said is that it's very abrasive and it messes with my tongue a lot, a lot. But anyway, can't wait to eat that little sandwich <laughs> later on. Okay, guys, like always, you're always welcome to like, subscribe, and if you wish, you can always comment. Okay, guys, we'll see you in a bit. Have a good day. Please be careful if you go out tonight. Please, please. Want to know that everybody returns home and everybody is safe. Be careful out there, guys. Bye-bye. All right, guys, so I am so ready to eat. Like, I am really hungry. <laughs> anyway, so I ended up making a meatloaf, mashed potatoes, and I like green beans and a carrot. So I know I haven't done this for a while, but and this is what I'm eating. This is my dinner right here. I don't have it on a turntable. So this is what we're eating. And uh, so I'm just, I already put, so I usually put butter on here, but right now I'm just, I just added uh, a little bit of uh, salt and that was it. So right now I can't wait to dig in, uh, made the gravy and I did add a lot of spices, a lot of different things to it. cheese, Parmesan cheese. I wouldn't add sour cream only. I only put sour cream when I'm making lasagna. But those extra flavors add a lot of flavor. Um, They add a lot of flavor to the meatloaf. And I did put the glaze. I guess it all depends on the ketchup that you use for the glaze because it didn't come out as dark. I usually use um, Heinz. But this was a, I think it was a Tony's brand or something like that. It's always good um, to use a brand name of ketchup with the sugar as the glaze. It comes out a lot more better. Mm. I like the ends. I don't know what it is about the ends, but I really like the ends um, from a, a meatloaf. I guess because it's crunchy on the outside. <laughs> mm-hmm. Oh, yeah. And then with the gravy. The mashed potatoes. The peas, the carrots. Yeah. And like I said, It doesn't take that long to put together. Only it takes at the most like maybe 40 minutes to cook. You have to judge it of when you want to take it out. Do the side dishes and you're done. Now tomorrow, I'll be, <clears throat> I'll be making... <clears throat> meatloaf sandwiches and i can't wait for that i love meatloaf sandwiches with lettuce tomato and mayonnaise
I usually have it on rye bread, but <clears throat> I don't have no rye bread right now, so I'll just end up toasting regular bread. Mm. Okay. <clears throat> I think it went down the wrong way. But, yeah. Kids already ate. Mm. Okay. So I'm going to finish this and chill out. Whoop. <clears throat> um, chill out for the rest of the night. And yeah, we'll see you guys in a bit. Hey everybody, give me a second. I'm just gonna close up this door. So we have a lot of uh, leftovers uh, from lunch. So we have spaghetti, mazzacholi, and I have pork stew still left. So right now I am going to put in this is the ground beef and we're making meatloaf. These are all gonna be the spices everything that I'm going to be using to give it flavor. So right now you already, you know, kind of like mush the ground beef together. So we're just going to start adding spices in here. My name is Emma, by the way. I do like cooking. I'm not saying I don't because I have to cook for a family. I am going to put this to give it some color. Actually, I think I just need one. And what I usually do is I get um, a can of tomato sauce just to give it more color. And, you know, so it can have um, a more flavor. So I usually use this one, Goya. Let me get a <coughs> can opener. So I'm gonna put that in last. Um, I do put in quite a bit of salt. I use celery seed. One thing about meatloaf, you wanna give it, you definitely wanna give it a lot of flavor. And then I just use garlic. Definitely one garlic in there. I don't put onions or green peppers because I don't like, the holes that end up being on there, I can't stand that. So, because it ends up um, making holes in the meatloaf. I use black pepper. You just eyeball it, you know. I definitely use a lot of um, Italian seasoning. So quite a bit of that. Cause I see meatloaf more like um a what do you call it, an Italian dish more than anything. So I do have some taco uh cheese. So I'm gonna be putting this in there. Again, just to give it more flavor. I should have used mozzarella cheese, but that's okay. Let's see. Definitely put Parmesan cheese. Okay. So, here you can use the other side and start. I, I do like having that cheese flavor in there. It just makes the, the what do you call it, um, the meatloaf, the meatloaf pot. Then again, I'm, are those meatballs? I gotta see if those are meatballs. I wonder if they have a, a recipe in the back for that. I'm gonna look. Uh, definitely breadcrumbs, Italian, of course. That's to keep the um, the beef together. You want eggs. No. Okay, I'm going to have to crack this somewhere else because I'm making a mess. Okay, three. I usually put like three eggs. Not that many. Again, the egg is to keep it together. 
there. Okay. And then the tomato sauce. Hold on, let me open it. Again, you're just looking for a lot of, a lot of flavor. And a tomato sauce. You want to put everything in there. Everything in there. And then a little bit of uh, sugar. I'm going to give it that glaze. But I'll be also be using this uh, with the ketchup. Okay. A lot of different flavors. And then our last we'll be using a little bit of milk. Not too much, just a little bit. I'll put that away in a minute. Just everything that's in there. And now we're just gonna dive in and start mixing all of this together. This doesn't take long. And like I say, you should just use hot water with your hands and then, you know, just start molding it, you know, crushing it, you know, with your knuckles. So you want it, you want to make sure that it comes together, and that it all sticks together nicely. I don't want no holes in there. I can't, I don't know what it is about meatloaf. I just, I don't like the holes. So when I do it this way, I just grind it, just keep grinding it with my hand. And I try to do that beforehand too, before I put all the spices in. Because uh, one thing about ground beef, it can be cold. You just wanna warm it up. Put your hand a little bit, hot water. And this done, I just go at it. And the tomato sauce and the Goya, it's just to give it color. I mean, you could just use a regular tomato sauce, that's fine too. Some people like putting olives in it, in it but again, the olives will shrink and you'll end up with those holes, holes again as well. So I, I try to stay from anything that will shrink inside the meatball. Takes a little elbow grease, if that's what you want to call it. I don't know why my nose is running. Like, I really don't know. Okay, I think that's good enough. You don't have to use a greased pan, an ungreased one is fine. That was just egg. So now, we're just gonna, as much as we can, we're just gonna drop it in here. You have all that grease left over from, you know, the bottom of the, of the mm -hmm. leftover ground beef. I mean, if you see some, meat in there, definitely grab it. And then I just mold it. Into a, a loaf. Now until it looks some um, satisfactory to you, however long or then you want to make it. I usually do it to reach its end to end. And I just fold it over. Try to get under there as much as possible. So there we go. Again, it doesn't take long to make. 
And now I'm going to make the topping, which is, I already had the oven preheated. There we go. So simple, guys. So simple. To top off, get some ketchup. I always, always wanted to know what was that glaze they put on top of the meatloaf. And I found out it was just, what do you call it? Ketchup and sugar. I was like, really? Really? That was it? And then you just stir it together. I mean, you could put a little bit of soy sauce in here if you want, but this is good enough. And then you just put it on top. Meatloaf to me is just like lasagna. It's so easy to prepare. And then you just slather it all around. parchment paper on the bottom but I forgot this way because of the sugar I don't know maybe upstairs get the extra water okay in the oven it goes and I already have the oven preheated I don't know where they are I think they're upstairs I don't know so I have it at 375 and it's going to be in here for about 40 minutes and we're done guys I'm just going to finish washing um pans that I used and I'm gonna put all this away and then I end up going to um just make some just a few what do you call it um I only have three potatoes so this is all my stuff for well this goes over here all my spices oh that's empty it's this one now I'll go up here Put everything that's empty that goes in there this is garbage I'll put that away in a minute Bring that in the garbage uh, put the milk away where's the dog okay put the sugar away these are all the leftovers I'm gonna have for lunch I gotta put those dishes away and then I'm just going to put this up here with the salt. And uh, that's it. We're done. And dinner will be ready. I just got to clean this table. Yeah, I have to wash this again. Throw it in the laundry. Okay. Okay, guys. So that's it. And um, yeah, I'm just going to make a pot with a couple of, I think I only have three potatoes, but they really don't like potato, mashed potato that much anyway. So I'm just gonna use that and use the leftover um, instant mash that I have. And I'm gonna mix that together and dinner will be done. That's it, we're done. Oh, and I did, I think I do have gravy actually. Let's see. Yeah, and I have gravy. So I'll be making that as well. Okay. So, oopsies, doesn't want to stay up there. 
can't have meatloaf without gravy, right? <laughs> okay, guys, we will see you in a bit. Okay, I always have to hear the cars. Okay, here we are. Here we are. It's getting messy around here. Boxes. We got a lot of boxes that we have to throw out today. So I'm really happy my denture repair kit is coming today. I thought it wasn't going to come until tomorrow, but it's going to come today. So I can't wait and uh, let's see if it works, you know. But anyway, I'm still going to call different places, you know, just in case it doesn't work. Um, so um, definitely going to make a few phone calls today. And I kind of feel they're just going to have to take the mold of this one. And just make a new one. Hopefully it shouldn't cost that much. Because they don't have to worry about my gums or anything like that. So they just have to take like an impression. Well not really an impression. Just a mold. And uh, we'll take it from there I guess. But uh, yeah I'm just hoping it, you know, the insurance will uh, cover it. But we'll see. We'll see what happens today. I did go to one place, but they told me, um, you know, that uh, to call the back of my card and, you know, but, oh, my God, they're annoying because they want to send me emails. Oh, you got to go here. You got to go there. Call this. or And then they got to send you a whole page of a listing. It's I like, oh, I just want to know where to go. That's it. <laughs> I don't want to... <laughs> have to search and hunt for a place you know what i mean uh, but i think that is the best way to go though for them for them to let me know what you know, what my insurance uh, covers but uh yeah i have a lot of reading to do today i'm like i haven't really been reading and i'm like i have to you know keep up with my my books that i'm i'm trying to finish and then i have my devotional books that i'm trying to finish so <sighs> so I think I'm just going to take today and just concentrate on doing that. These are big trees. I think one of these trees, I think it's this one. I think maybe this tree looks so big because it's two of them together. So it looks so huge or so high up. I think I would feel sad if I didn't have any trees, you know, in the back. But these are the two big trees I'm always looking at. And you can really hear like the cicadas and the crickets and, and everything from those trees. But uh, yeah, so the weather, it is supposed to be, yeah, I think it's like doubled up. That's why it looks so huge when I look at it. Because it's two trees together. Um, so... Uh, going to start thinking about getting sweaters, things like that, start taking things out, and uh, start getting ready for it. He always gets this leash underground. Hi, anybody have a, a kitty cat? A kitty, kitty litter thingy. <laughs> oh, thing, oh, I gave up on cats long ago. I used to have so many cats when I was growing up. Let me see. Oh, he's getting his legs caught. Oh, we always have dogs, too. Come on. It's like a chew. Yeah, Siamese cats, black cats, the gray cats. I even had a dream of a cat. <laughs> this is cute. Look at this. <laughs> Grab that for me. <laughs> it's going to be cute for... I'm not going to use it. Of course, I'm going to clean it, but <laughs> I think that's cute. Oh, he's going to grab me out. You can't drink out of it. You have to, like, boil it first. <laughs> uh, Roadkill is still there. No. Here, just put it on the table for now. Yeah. Okay, well, just put it on the table for now. And we'll take care of it when we get back. Come on. Coming for the second walk or no? Or no? All right. Okay, so it's nice and warm out here right now. It's chilly in my in my apartment. <laughs> oh my god! 
good. <laughs> but um, yeah, I'm just gonna try to keep busy today. Like I said, I haven't made those lists. That's another thing I have to do is make all those lists today. And uh, among other things, you know me, I like creating. I like looking into things. I like watching things that will make, and that will inspire me. So. We're going to be doing that all day today. And I feel like I have some kind of rock or something in my shoe. I hate that. Because sometimes I put socks on. Sometimes I don't. The only times I put socks on is when I'm going to go out walking somewhere. Because because of my heel. The the socks um, help lessen the pain. And then I have to take like two ibuprofen before I go anywhere. Because once I start walking the pain starts uh, after a while you know the pain starts coming in so so i have to get that it's a nice kind of like bookcase or thing um, yeah okay come on okay guys i think i'm gonna leave you guys here not much else um i'll definitely show you what i'm up to um throughout the day and uh yeah we will see you in a bit <laughs>